Every year, wildfires destroy millions of acres, displace thousands of people, and devastate wildlife. But what causes these massive infernos? And why is Los Angeles a hotspot for these destructive fires? Let's break it down. Wildfires are uncontrolled fires that burn in natural areas like forests, grasslands, or brush. They can start small but quickly grow, fueled by dry vegetation, strong winds, and heat. In the United States alone, wildfires burn an average of 7 million acres yearly, causing billions in damage. One of the primary natural causes of wildfires is lightning. When lightning strikes dry vegetation, a fire can spread rapidly. In Los Angeles, the dry Mediterranean climate makes this region particularly vulnerable. Then there are the infamous Santa Ana winds. These powerful, dry winds blow from the deserts toward the coast, fanning small flames into uncontrollable infernos. They are most active in the fall and winter, creating the perfect wildfire storm. Unfortunately, humans are responsible for most wildfires. In Los Angeles, utility equipment failures have sparked some of the largest fires in history, like the Woolsey Fire in 2018. Carelessness, such as leaving campfires unattended or discarding lit cigarettes, also plays a major role. And then there's arson, intentionally starting fires. It's a devastating act that puts lives and property at risk. Climate change is making wildfires worse. Rising global temperatures lead to longer droughts and hotter summers, drying out vegetation and turning it into tinder. Combine this with stronger winds and reduced rainfall, and you have a recipe for disaster. Los Angeles has seen its fair share of catastrophic wildfires. The Woolsey Fire in 2018 burned nearly 97,000 acres and destroyed over 1,500 structures. The Bobcat Fire in 2020 scorched over 115,000 acres in the Angeles National Forest. These fires left behind a trail of destruction that took years to recover from. So, how do we prevent wildfires? Controlled burns are one solution. By intentionally burning excess vegetation, we can reduce the fuel available for future fires. Homeowners in high-risk areas can also help by creating defensible spaces around their properties and using fire-resistant materials in construction. Wildfires are a natural part of some ecosystems, but their increasing intensity is a challenge we must face together. Be mindful of your actions, one small spark can cause immense destruction. Support wildfire relief efforts, stay informed, and help protect our planet. How can we reduce the risk of wildfires? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into our world.